<laughs> we have a lot of fun. Like we create dances together or we make meals together. But I think it's really just telling our story, understanding who we are beyond all of the extracurriculars and grades that we get. We want to give voice back to youth. I am a 25-year-old communications director at Youth Mentoring Action Network. I think that in itself speaks volumes. It wasn't until I connected to Iman that I was able to understand not just the framework of critical mentoring, but really see it into practice. My role is to support the youth ambassadors in implementing different programs that are servicing the community of the Inland Empire. So they give you like the platform to really just take what you're passionate about and then work together and collaborate with others to then make that turn into a reality and like help others in the community. The mentor the resources and the platform. To like talk with other leaders, seeing their perspectives and like how we're going to approach our programs. I'm a part of the Wellness Collaborative and us doing like a self-care and self-check-in. It really just made me kind of like reevaluate the steps I wanted to take and the approach I wanted to do when I'm doing this wellness um, collaborative with the community. Someone would be really focused on mental health, but other people might be focused more on the LGBTQ movement. But the commonality is that they just want to see positive change. And that's what I really like. I find that really uplifting. Connect with each other through all these different activities and we've learned about each other and kind of like our backgrounds. Why we're so passionate about like Iman. But I also just like enjoyed like having like critical conversations and being a critical thinker in, in like a space where there's not a lot of tension because everyone's trying to like outspeak one another. It's just understanding homogenic makeup that makes up who we are. We're all different. We have all these intersections that make us so unique. And I think that's why we really bond as well. Oftentimes it seems that Youth don't really have a lot of power to make change in the world. However, I think that Iman is giving us that platform to express our creativity and providing us a platform to share our love for activism with other youth within the Inland Empire. And I think that's just extraordinary. So the article we read on Radical Love was um, really eye-opening. The whole idea about love has been like so stigmatized with positivity and like nothing but surface like sweet part that it's not always pretty and that have to be a dress like you you do have those kind of obstacles in life and I really like how Iman tries to tackle those and uplift everyone so we're all at that kind of like equal spot in life. You can be your true authentic self in any way shape or form and still do the work. They've given me a backing like the support they don't just take youth and say okay this is what we're going to do but rather they prompt you to come up with your own ideas. The, the aspect of Iman about like taking action and like doing something with like what we're saying. I like that part of it. And that's like something I want to go to school for, um, like policy making in education. I really enjoyed hearing what they have to say, but then also like giving my opinion. But really creating a space of unity, love and empowerment. The creative outlet gives me like it gives me a sense of peace in a way and also like it gives my brain a breather. And I think it can it can teach you things that academics doesn't teach you in bonding exercises. Like it's not competitive. What isn't there to love about Iman, right? The thing that brought me to Iman is the people. And I think that self-care by talking with your peers is kind of unconventional because when you think of self-care, you're doing it alone. But by being in this secluded space where we as youth can come together and make an impact on the world through our events. We know that everyone here is going to love us for who we are. That gives us the space to practice our self-love by knowing that everyone else loves us too.